I'm Richard Chandler. I'm a composer and performing musician. And I have some exciting concepts to share with you. They're not my concepts. They come from the author and high-end executive coach, Marshall Goldsmith. And they come from his book, his very recent book, called Lose Regret, Choose Fulfillment, The Earned Life. Why they're applicable for musicians is I believe too much of our time is devoted, at least it is, has been for me, of just wondering if I'm doing the right thing, working on the right thing, is my career path really right for me, uh, and maybe sometimes feeling bad, wishing I, I would have done things differently in the past in terms of my music career. And so here's the concept, and you'll see how it could apply perhaps to you. The concept is what Marshall Goldsmith calls the triple A's, action, ambition, and aspiration. And the best way for me to think about this as a musician is thinking about how I came to music in the first place. When I was a very little kid, maybe your story is like this too. I, I just sang a lot and I remember taking my mom's pots and pans out of the the bottom cupboard where I could reach them in on the kitchen floor and I would just bang on them and you know make sounds and I was fascinated by the sounds and the rhythms much I'm sure to the irritation of my parents and then when I got a little older there was this opportunity to play in the school band that's kind of how it worked when, when you got to be 11 years old in the school district I was in you could choose an instrument I wanted to play the drums because I liked that sort of thing already with my my vast experience in the pots and pans However, the criteria was you needed to play piano, and I didn't know that, so I wasn't allowed to play piano or, or, or drums. But instead, I did choose the saxophone. I loved the sound of it, and it, it liked the looks, and I thought, oh, that's the instrument for me. And when we think about our musical journey, the action was when we just made music for fun. And we look at people that are adults, they might sing in the shower, they sing when they're in the car or with friends, or maybe they go to the karaoke bar and sing, that's kind of action oriented, but they don't have an aspiration necessarily to be a better musician or to learn more about music or to be become more sophisticated music. They just have fun with music and listening to it, doing those kinds of activities. Very action oriented. Action oriented kinds of things are in the moment. They don't have to do with, with any kind of aspiration to get better or an ambition to accomplish something by a certain set time. So action is in the moment. Aspiration is future oriented in the sense that we want to get better at something. And so if you think about music now, I'm sure you want to get better as a musician. You might want to learn more about music theory. You might want to learn more about how you can to become more sophisticated as a musician in terms of expanding your musical vocabulary. Uh, maybe you're learning of other styles of music and how the various styles influence this, you know, what you like to play. And that's aspirationally oriented in that there's not timelines, there's not set goals. And it can go on for your entire lifetime. Where with ambition, that is very goal directed. It's like, I want to learn these pieces well and be able to perform them at a high level by my recital date or by the concert date if you're in an ensemble. So it's very much with ambition, it's very much about goals, goal setting and goal achieving with specific timelines. So we think about these three things, ambition with goals, specific timelines, aspiration which is about fascination and interest and love of doing something, but there's the quality of improvement. There's this aspect of wanting to get better at it, to learn more, to become more sophisticated and more knowledgeable, but no set timeline. And then there's action, the idea that you do things just because they feel good in the moment. And how do we coordinate these three so we're not feeling bad when things don't turn out the way we want them to turn out? Too often, if we're a performing musician or a composer, we're wrapped up in ambition. We, we think we're going to feel good once we finish the recital and it goes well. And maybe it goes well, maybe it doesn't go as well as we wanted. And we can feel pretty good, 
right after the, the recital is open, over. But we might feel like, oh, now I have to think about the next recital, the next performance. And oftentimes, it's just going from one thing to the other, almost like postponing our happiness. Where with aspiration, you don't have that. You're just feeling good because you're continually learning, getting better. I have a lot of aspiration when it comes to learning. I love to read both by actually reading or by listening to audiobooks, and it just feels good to learn new things. I'm excited about this concept I'm explaining to you more out of aspiration than anything else and wanting to share it. If all three are aligned, then we're feeling good about our practice time, which is action. In the moment, we're working on our practice. We're working in this set period of time to get better at something. But we may have some goals for the practice, some ambition. We want to make sure we play this passage quite cleanly and at a certain tempo. And so we're working with our metronome, we're listening carefully, and that's more ambition-oriented. Aspiration is much more like, overall, I want to get better as a musician. And you feel good about that, but you're not putting a set time on it. And with, with action, of course, you're just enjoying it. Just enjoying the practice, enjoying the feel of the instrument in your hands or singing, whatever you're doing. So I hope this is helpful. I hope as you think back at your musical life, you can say, oh yes, even if I didn't accomplish all that I set out to accomplish in terms of ambition, I still feel good in terms of aspiration. I've had a wonderful journey with music, and I've learned a lot, and I feel enriched by it. And while I was doing it, doing the actions, I felt good and fulfilled. So I hope this is helpful. Once again, for a deeper dive into this, I would highly recommend Marshall Goldsmith's book. And once again, the title is Lose Regret, Choose Fulfillment, The Earned Life. I, I recommend the audiobook because it's so wonderful to hear his voice. So with that, I'll sign off. And please do be in touch through my leadingmusicians.com website or my richardjchandler.com website. That's more my composer's website. And you can find my email address there and check out what I have on there. It's really, both of them are resources for musicians. Thank you for listening and watching, and I look forward to being in touch in the future.